Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's webinar is likely to last about 30 minutes. Depending on the flow and the interactivity, we may have uh, time for a round of Q&A at the end. If, however, we don't have that time, um, via SOPCAD, we will have your questions answered in a separate channel. Okay, so without m for further ado, this is the agenda for today's webinar. It's mostly um, off the bent that SoftCats and, uh, and any end users, any customers, clients from SoftCat, when they have the idea of a digital transformation or a journey to the cloud, a lot of the focus goes on the security of that data in the cloud or multi-cloud deployment. I will cover many aspects of it for, for both the sales and marketing uh, teams and for pre-sales and, and architects teams. So it should be a very wide scope and every audience should find it relevant. In the end, I will give out some uh, references so that you can see where we have already been uh, securing in the cloud. Okay, so Talos eSecurity is just a way to introduce is a segment from a larger group of companies called Talos Group, and Talos is active in the aerospace, satellite, submarines business, and all the way down to encryption of data in. A, an on-prem data center in a hybrid environment or a purely multi-cloud deployment. Okay, so it, so that's about Talos. Keeping up with the time, let's begin with the story of data security in the cloud. The first step I will take is to talk about what are the various types of cloud services. And I will then come to a um, point that, that will resonate why you should look at a solution like Talos's. So in front of you are three columns. And each of those is a service, a cloud service, right? On the left, under the heading infrastructure as a service, called IaaS uh, in short, is the cloud service where you get an entire stack, an entire server, uh, um, stood up for you by the cloud provider, right? In that case, the, the boxes in red, all the objects in red, are the responsibility of the consumer of the cloud. In other words, you, right? Whoever will move data and applications in the cloud. And the boxes in white are, are the responsibility of the cloud provider, right? Notice that in the column in the middle, Platform as a service, PaaS for short, the, the cloud provider takes the responsibility of more objects, leaving less stuff for your enterprise, for your IT teams and your developers to worry about, right? And on the extreme right is software as a service where everything up to the application is provided for you, right? Even the application, the, the, the the, the computing logic that processes, uh, runs your business, has been supplied to you, will be supplied to you by the cloud provider. Now, please notice that in every model of the cloud, data, right, the first box on top, is always the responsibility of the owner of the data, right, the consumer of the cloud. In other words, if anything was to break in what is the responsibility of the cloud provider, then the cloud provider is liable to fix it. If, however, your data is breached, attacked, stolen, uh, compromised, copied on the dark web, then only you are responsible for it. The cloud provider will not do anything about it. This is the shared responsibility model of a cloud. And I felt it important to introduce this fairly in the beginning so that the rest of the storyline becomes quite logical, right? Now, with this knowledge, notice that 
let me go to the next slide. Yeah, so obvious thing that comes to mind, right, to anyone's mind who has been in the cloud space will be to encrypt data. Now, if you were to deal with clear text data, right, you are worrying about the sensitivity and keeping secure those large amounts of gigabytes of data because they're clear text. By default, what comes to mind in anyone's mind is, okay, we encrypt that data without going any more details of it, encrypt that data, and now the focus goes to the security of not those gigabytes of data, but those kilobytes of keys that, that were used to encrypt that data, right? Now, with that attention, the encryption keys, whoever has ownership and access to those keys can govern the security and access on that large amounts of data. And that's, that's exactly what we found in some of the formal uh, surveys and, and market research done uh, by the, the, the below mentioned research authority. These numbers are, um, reflect a year ago, uh, status of a year ago. And as you can imagine, with every passing day, more breaches, more government attacks take place, these numbers only become larger and larger. In some of the cases, right, depending on the, the business that the cloud consumer is in, for instance, healthcare and insurance, health insurance, they are liable to follow compliance rules of their industry. Likewise, banking and, and payments related in the industry have to follow norms and regulation like PCI DSS. And government agencies or anyone who processes a citizen of a European Union state plus UK and I uh, who is liable for GDPR compliance, right? So those are all the things that even encrypted data um, must meet, okay? So you saw that responsibility of the data is purely responsibility of the owner of that data, not the cloud company. Even if you encrypt that data, that the encryption keys and encrypted data still brings you further requirements of the cloud security of your data in the cloud, right? After that, I don't have, you know, this has become so common knowledge that I don't even have to talk much about it. When, when a breach takes place, right, not only is, the, is a business such as um, clients of SoftCat, anyone who uses cloud will, in the immediate term, suffer from the, um, the financial losses and fines that they have to pay back from their affected users, right? We know the story behind uh, the, the, the impact in revenue of companies such as Carphone Warehouse, Tesco Bank, and all those other recent breaches, right? So this is serious stuff. Even if you are partially in the cloud, you are still uh, open to breaches. The, the location of your compute and your data has less to do with where it's at than uh, how you secure it, okay? So breaches are certainly bad. What people do in their um, initial notion that we won't put any clear text data in the cloud, which I think is a smart thing to do, is that they follow an encrypt everything strategy, encrypt everything sensitive. However, unless it was implemented in a very smart way, um, the security may be just as strong as the weakest link, right? So there are solutions that apply encryption to the cloud, but we know what has happened with um, the leak of PGP keys and NSA backdoor algorithms, et cetera. So when you're looking at encryption in the cloud, there are certain requirements you should put on what security you're, you are thinking of deploying in your cloud environment and how to evaluate them. It's another food for thought in that decision making. One more point of view I can give on, on, on evaluating your cloud encryption strategy is that most companies, right, unless the business has been really recent, a few months old, most businesses have a run that run that go to 
that are thinking of going to the cloud have been operating their on-prem data centers from at least a few years ago. Five years, 10 years is not uncommon in this uh, space. And in the course of those five to 10 years, um, they have used point solutions um, to encrypt their data uh, for that specific requirement, right? So for instance, if an e-commerce business uh, stores their uh, transaction details in a database, to secure it, they will go out and purchase a database encryption solution from one company, right? From one vendor. If after a few months that company hires sales staff that is mostly on the road and, and stores reports and sensitive data in their laptops, then this company will acquire a full disk encryption solution and deploy it on their um, endpoints and wherever the sensitive data is stored, right? Likewise, as the story goes forward, the, the company wa now wants to move to the cloud and they acquire a third kind of a encryption solution to the cloud. If you let this happen over a fair two or three years or so, any business ends up in a very complex, inefficient approach to security of data where they have to maintain several systems from several vendors and employ their own IT teams that each specializes in one, right? That gives you also the additional cost of maintaining security and the pressure. So a smart encryption strategy on top of encrypt everything is to use one solution that encrypts everything in a single pane of glass rather than have you to source different solutions for different types of data, right? On top of it, right, not only is a good solution going to encrypt all of your data, which is policy-based, applies on, doesn't matter what form, shape of data, it also gives you compliance with uh, of the regulation that I mentioned before. GDPR is very common to hear these days, even in a casual conversation, for, for any company that stores a citizen's uh, personally identifiable information Right? And you will see display in one of the references I give out in the end. Payment cards industry, PCI DSS, is essential for any e-commerce, uh, any um, mortgage group, an insurance company, anything that processes a credit card or debit card information. An encryption solution that not only protects your data and addresses all these concerns of data in the cloud, should also bring you a benefit in meeting your compliance and regulation obligations. Okay. And that's where I bring in Vermetric data security platform to you. All of those things that I mentioned before as problems, the Talus Vermetric data security platform is the solution to all of them. Not only do we protect the data in the cloud in any cloud model, uh, we give you a single pane of glass that in, can encrypt all data in, in any shape or form and any location, plus we bring you the ability to, uh, to accelerate your regulation and compliance requirements. Okay. This image in front of you has obviously been designed for visual appeal, but also for simplicity. I would not have to go in a lot of detail for them at this time, but please observe that in any deployment of a Talos Vermetric solution, data security solution, right, of which there are many that comprise this platform, there are always two components. One is the central component called the Vermetric Data Security Manager, the DSM uh, for short, and around that central component are the other decentralized components, right? So these all decentralized components provide you with an, a facet of data address encryption, right? And they can all utilize the same DSM for its key management, for, um, for a certified, very highly rated, secure uh, place to store all your encryption keys. 
right? And I will come to that, describe some of those solutions in a, in a little more technical detail uh, in just a few slides, okay? Now, that circle within circles uh, schema that you saw before can also be interpreted this way. There are two kinds of data at rest solutions in that image. One that can be classified, as you see on the left, as bring your own encryption type of solutions, BYOE for short. And bring your own encryption means that the act of encryption is in control of the owner of the data, right? That is you. It is not in control of the cloud provider or your partner or your uh, outsourcing company or anybody else. Okay, the act of encryption is, um, is where you take the, uh, the human readable data and then um, scramble it in a way that it cannot be breached by another software or a person, right? Now, in the other category, which is bring your own key or BYOK for short, in that category of solutions, the act of encryption has been implemented for you by somebody else, right? Uh, for instance, a software like a database or a big data node, or an entire uh, cloud company such as uh, Azure or Amazon who offer native encryption. And I will have more to say on those, those in a minute, right? The comparison here is that on, in BYOE, you can exactly choose what encrypt, uh, encryption key, what quality of key you, you will use, and what algorithm will be used for encrypting your data. On the right, with BYOE, some decisions have been made for you. What encryption algorithm, what kind of uh, data, all of those has been implemented for you. That leaves you with only the, the most secure option to generate the key yourself, and be in control of its use. So that's, those are the two types of Talos's Vormetric Data Platform solutions. So long that you keep these in mind, the next slide describes a bit more of how it looks in the real world. If you have any questions so far, please note them in the Q&A box or in your email, and we, I will have them answered in, in some form after the presentation. The two types, the two categories of Talos solutions <clears throat> that you saw before, BYOE and BYOK, are all built for multi-cloud security and control, which means you're not tied to, to say um, that bring your own in encryption is only available for you if all of your compute and storage is in Azure. Uh, no, in any of those cloud options, and these are uh, mentioned on the right, these are only a subset of the cloud uh, and hosted environments that Talos has already built support for in the Vormetric Data Security Platform, right? You can have either all of your compute and storage in one cloud, or you can have it spread in, in, in different proportions across them. Independent of your cloud, uh, your, your journey to the cloud, right? Whichever way or form you want to use, the cloud in, please observe that there are uh, native encryption supplied to you by the public cloud itself, right? And there, again, some of them I'm hovering my mouse over. They, and, and, and Talos security is not limited to only these well popular hyperscale cloud companies. You may have, depending on the suitability to your business, uh, contracted with a private or a hosted cloud company, right? Even in those cases, you can utilize Talos solutions. The first thing you will be tempted to look at are the native encryption that I mentioned before, where the, the cloud or the software system itself has implemented encryption. Um, it may look like a very convenient, very easy way to encrypt your data, but it's easy to be fooled by it as well. And let me explain you what I mean. If the the business entity, right, data center, company, cloud, that encrypts your data also has access to the keys that were used to encrypt that data, 
then you end up in what I like to call keys under the doormat situation, right? So you may think that the door is locked, but the key is, uh, is very easy to find, right? So the data is still um, vulnerable to a breach, especially by your own cloud uh, provider. So most companies in the end, if they have chosen, put all of their trust in native encryption, then they start go out and build up further layers of security um, assets, access control and IEM and all of that. And that gives them additional uh, time and cost before they come to an advanced BYOE situation, right? Compare this with the BYOE that I introduced before, where you get all of this in one, right? Nice little package. To talk about BYOE, another advantage that I haven't mentioned before, um, on top of the uh, compliance and the uh, single pane of glass, notice if you were to use BYOE, right, currently, you have probably chosen to spend some of your cloud uh, infrastructure in Google for, for health information because you find it relevant for health information data or that its pricing costing per unit is better. You may have put in your financial data in Azure because it, it makes more sense there, economic and technical, so on and so forth. Now in the cloud space, as, uh, as the market between cloud will become highly competitive, you may at some point want to switch them around to a newer set of uh, market conditions. If you did not choose bring your own encryption, then you're stuck logged in with that specific cloud vendor. If you, however, chose to encrypt data on your own, right, BYOE, as opposed to native encryption, you can do this. You can move your data around so that whichever cloud a specific piece of data, amount of data, type of data, makes sense in a different cloud, you, car you can take your encrypted data uh, and move it to the new cloud. Why? Because the active encryption and the keys are both in your control. You, you cannot do this with native encryption or any BYOE solution produced by other vendors for that matter. Okay. The, another example, right? So what I talked before was the BYOE. Let me give a moment to BYOK where um, it doesn't matter if you're using dedicated one cloud alone for all of your compute and storage, or you may spread it across several uh, types of clouds. You can use native encryption if you so choose, but you want to be in control of the encryption keys themselves. So for the assurance that the keys encrypting your data are actually high quality, high entropy encryption keys, as opposed to copies of already compromised encryption keys, you can use Stylus's BYOK solution called CypherTrust Cloud Key Manager, CCKM in short, and that will generate the keys for you in a secure hardware appliance, transfer those keys into the cloud along with the authorizations that you set. You can tell the cloud company to only use the keys uh, that you want, that you have generated for yourself. And you can also have the cloud company report to you exactly when and for what purpose they use your keys. That's bring your own key in short. I will, in the next few slides, go a bit more uh, into technical details. I have to save time for the, uh, for the uh, references, so I will go straight to the definition of where the, the BYOE applies. So VTE, or metric transparent encryption, is the name of this solution from Talos that gives you bring your own encryption. And it applies encryption not at the disk or storage level, but at the file system level, where we can see clearly what application uh, or person is trying to access the data that is stored in the disk. And this covers a very wide uh, spectrum um, of data breaches that other layers, such as application and disk, cannot cover. 
right? Um, yeah, so in short, BYOE solution from Talos is VTE. You will see this explained a bit more in the, in the references page. The other solution that I want to talk about, CCKM, looks like this. In this image, which may look a little complex, this gray box is actually the CCKM component, right? And what it does is that it talks to the DSM, right? The same DSM that I showed you before, uh, the central component, in either a multi-tenant cloud hosted by Talos themselves, ourselves, or you can have uh, a, a single tenant dedicated DSM of your own, right? That the choice is yours, which one you are comfortable with, which one brings you closer to your compliance and regulation obligations, right? So the C, you will use the CCKM to generate your encryption key uh, with any form of a DSM. And then on, you will transfer those keys into your cloud along with authorizations, right? You, because the CCKM has implemented the REST API of those public clouds. There are some, uh, a large number of clouds that are already supported, the popular big ones, and we are working to fill full the entire uh, image you see here in a supported uh, by CCKM list. Um, once you send the key to the cloud, and tell the cloud company to only use your key, you can then uh, at any time revoke the key if you don't trust the cloud provider anymore. Um, you can rekey your data every six months or so should PCI DSS or a health regulation require this from you at the click of a button, okay? Um, and obviously you can monitor every utilization of the key made by the cloud company so that you get two kinds of reports. One that proves to an audit company that no data was accessed in unauthorized ways, and the other type of report shows if there was an attempted unauthorized access to data, then you can uh, give that report to your pen testing company and they will investigate and close that gap. Okay, so these are the BYOE and BYOK solutions in some technical detail. In, uh, in the interest of time, I'm going quickly to the references. The first one is a European Insurance and Banking Organization. Um, that company was in a quest to meet their GDPR requirements, right? It was a directive decision made at the board level. The single pane of glass story in which, you know, doesn't matter what kind of a data, what application and what cloud, you can encrypt it for its separation of duties and key custodianship was the driving factor. You can see uh, an indicative um, size of that opportunity and the proposed solution. In the slides that you will get via Jerry, um, you can read more about them. The uh, basic, um, the winning factor here for Talis was that you are independent of the platform and your uh, and your applications, you, and you can continue to utilize your existing IT teams rather having to acquire more specialized talent that has its own terms and conditions. The next company I want to talk about as a reference was a bank in Spain. And that bank had its uh, in, uh, infrastructure and cloud spread over multiple completely disparate types of data centers. Some was on-prem and some was local Spanish hosting providers and others were public clouds. To do this at a speed that the, the bank wanted, Talos VTE was the only choice they had. And they are quite successful and you have not heard about this bank in any of those breach reports that show up in newspapers every day. Okay, and the lastly, um, there's a bank which is uh, active in the EMEA uh, plus the UK and e, UK and I area. They are a, a large proponent of Amazon's cloud business, and they have the view to in steps move all of their computing applications into Amazon. However, they want to remain in control 
of the, 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 the data in the cloud rather than lend it uh, or to trust of the cloud company themselves. So this company is, as I speak, implementing encryption based on the same VTE, the BYOE solution I described before, um, with the final objective to reach upwards of 150,000 servers by the end of the next financial year. With that, I um, thank you for your time and attention. If you have any questions, please work with SoftCat, you can uh, uh, marketing team. If you would like to reach me or Talis' sales team, here are our contact details, and we will do our best to answer your questions.